It's Bryce Lawrence, who is the National Referees Manager. And, of course, Bryce, this is a massive opportunity, this competition, Super Rugby Aotearoa. We've had a couple of weekends now. You guys are obviously in constant communication. Where are you guys at right now in regards to how things have gone? Yeah, look, it's, um, it's been a good start. Um, we're seeing changes week to week. Um, some positives that we've seen are the, in week one, the average penalty count was 30, and in week two, it was down to 25. We're getting some really good movement and player buy-in around things like offside lines and space. So we're actually starting to see some really good attack. We saw that on Sunday with the Crusaders and Hurricanes, you know, moving the ball really nicely over multiple phases. And, um, you know, we're, we're cleaning some of the areas up that we've uh, been asked to do, like side entry and sealing off and things, and there's still a couple of areas that are a bit of a work in progress. Bryce, uh, these directors, these they're not changes in law. This is the application of the law. These are something that have come from players, coaches, obviously from World Rugby. Everyone has been involved in this process, and they know exactly what is expected of them right now, don't they? Yeah, it's really been led by World Rugby, but also really the leading international coaches in the world. Ian Foster, Eddie Jones, Joe Smith, those type of guys. They're the ones that are driving it. And then World Rugby have listened to the coaches and the players and have asked the referees to um, try and be more referring to the law that currently exists. So it's no new law. They're just asking referees to actually referee the laws that are already there rather than go out and create all these new laws, which I don't think any of us wanted. Um, and some of it's been really successful so far. And some of it, players are taking a little while to adjust and the referees are taking a little while to adjust but we're constantly talking with coaches and, you know, at our review meeting in the week, last, yesterday, sorry, we had Ian Foster on for half an hour talking to the refs over a range of clips where he didn't think we were getting it quite right. And what the real positive for me was the clips that he identified were exactly the clips that as a referee group we had identified. So it's, it's working well. Bryce, do you feel you're, you're allowing the referees to be themselves during the game? That's one of the challenges, uh, JK, you're right, because um, we're asking them to do a little bit, things a little bit differently and be more technical, and then that's driving some change in behaviour by them as they're adjusting, because they've only had one game each. So it's going to take a little while, and they're saying that it's feeling a bit awkward and not overly natural. Um, so I'm really confident that by the time they do two or three games and build into their campaign, that they'll get better and better. Um, and they're saying it's feeling a little bit unnatural at the moment, and I suppose most change processes probably feel a bit unnatural. Talking to some of the leading players, Sam Kane and James Lynchies and things like that, they're really positive about what World Rugby's trying to do, and they're just saying it's going to take a little bit, to, bit of time for players and referees to adjust, and we're putting our hand up and saying, look, there's a couple of areas that we're not quite getting right at the moment. Yeah, I mean, I've asked that question because it felt, and I think, uh, you know, Ben is one of our world's best referees, but it felt like he was trying too hard in the first half, and in the second half, he just riffed what he was seeing, and it looks, looks so much better. So, how are we going to find that balance? Because, you know, it's getting better, but the amount of penalties is frustrating for the players and for the spectators. Yeah, look, I think the way we're going to see some improvement, hopefully, JK, is the decisions that we're not quite getting right at the moment, and there's two of them, one is when do we reward the jackler or the man over the ball lifting and we're a little bit quick giving him the penalty at the moment, so that's going against the ball carrying or the attacking team and that's stopping flow. And then we're just not getting the arriving player cleaning out a tackler, driving him off the ball. We're not quite getting that technical picture right. And once again, those penalties go against the ball carrying all the attack team. So if we can tweak those two areas, and they're the ones that the coaches are coming back and sharing clips and our refs are discussing weekly, and they're the ones that Fozzie's showing us, I think we might see a slightly different game, a bit more attack, and look, the refs want that just as much as you do, mate. Bryce, I'm interested that you said you, know, you want you guys to adapt and things like that. I mean, and also the referees to adapt. Are we going to get a little bit? Are you saying we're going to get a little bit of leniency towards sort of the, the ruck area and, and, and rewarding sort of the attacking players rather than looking at the defensive side? 
Look, I don't know if leniency is the word mills, but we're definitely going to work hard on those two areas that I've just spoken about. Um, and we've just had to create some better clarity in our minds and start seeing some better pictures. And we worked hard on that yesterday. The super rugby coaches and the refs have been sharing clips last night and again today. I think we'll be better this week. We'll be better the week after. Um, and once we get those pictures right, uh, we're going to see more attack and I think a better flow. And I I'm realistic to know that it takes a little bit of time and the players are adjusting. They're working really hard. The coaches are working extremely hard. Take my hat off to those guys. They've been awesome. And the refs are, are working really hard. But, you know, we're close, but we're not at our best at the moment. Price, I, I know there are always ways that coaches are going to continue to try and challenge you. And, and on the weekend, um, trying to find ways to protect possession. And one of the trends in the game used to be the squeeze ball. And Dalton Papali'i on the weekend against... Um, against the Chiefs, he got himself in a position where he felt he was legal. What, what's, what's going to be the attitude towards that, and particularly in this circumstance where he went body first and then the ball was only presented once it was put through uh, and squeezed between the legs? That's the clip that we had a long talk about yesterday, and uh, we believe our decision was wrong. So Dalton was immediately on the ball, so he's got all rights. He showed clear release, so he's got all rights. The Chiefs chose to squeeze ball, so he couldn't get the ball and lift like he's meant to. So we believe he should have been rewarded either with the penalty or, if not the penalty, let him then go forward and then pick it up the second time. We had a long discussion about that clip. Uh, we're having to work out what the squeeze ball means again because it hasn't been in play for a couple of years. Um, but all the teams are using it to protect the ball. And um, we had a great discussion, and then Fozzie came in with exactly that clip. And... Um, reconfirmed our thinking so hopefully we've got that um a little bit clearer yeah well, and you're um, taking somehow... ownership for everything which is great Bryce and, and uh, I like the fact today and we knew you were coming on the show of course we had a conversation but you sent through a couple of clips that maybe you guys have looked at and decided you know once again you need to make adjustments and tweaks and this is around that much uh, contested area around the breakdown you're yeah, just two clips of uh you know, penalties going against the ball carrying team, which are just too technical. So Alex cleans out with good shape, but then tackles Damien, and that's the picture we see. So that should be play on. And then James Parsons cleans the guy out, but goes off his feet. And we've all agreed that if you clean a player out and leave your feet, as long as it's not dangerous, it's play on. So we didn't get those pictures quite right in week one and two. And the clips that we looked at yesterday, Leon McDonald and Tom Coventry sent them through to us. We had already identified them. So we knew that they were clips that were of high interest. We fed back to the Blues and all the super teams on Monday night those clips and said, look, guys, here's a couple. We put our hand up and say, we've, we've, we've got to improve in this area. And um, both those decisions going forward, we'll be looking to referee differently. Bryce, I believe in self-policing. I believe that professional sports, coaches and players have been guilty. All of us have been guilty on the table. We will push the laws. So some self-policing, we mentioned last week about three penalties going against one team should be a yellow card. But I guess you can put that forward to Fozzie and whoever else is, is involved. But my question is, why are we waiting so long for the yellow cards? You know, if we're a bit stronger a bit early on it, you know, at second half when the game's really in the balance and it's a bit undecided, the yellow cards are coming out. And you can see the frustration in the ref. So why don't we just go a bit earlier and set the tone for yellow cards rather than wait till it's really critical late in the second half? Are you available to come on our review meeting next week? Any time, exactly Bryce, you know that? Any time. <laughs> that's exactly what we spoke about um, on well, Monday and something that I raised. Um, we, we're working hard on those trends. I don't think we're getting our timing absolutely right. Um, so we, we've had a discussion around that. Um, I think the teams are self-policing some areas. An example, 12 penalties in the first round for offside. Big emphasis by teams to practice and get better at that. Very noticeable. Seven penalties in week two. So referees still going hard on that area, and we're going to stick to that because space is vital, but teams self-policing better. The key is, when teams do infringe, are we getting our management timing right? And on one or two occasions, I agree with you, JK, we've been a couple of penalties late giving the warning, and therefore a couple of penalties late 
giving the decision. So once again, um, we're on the same wavelength. We've just got to just tweak that a little bit. I get a feeling that he might be secretly coming in on your Zoom calls. That's what I think exactly what J.K. is. <laughs> I have is. another He's question. Can I ask another question? Line. He's coming in the sideline, but Bryce, I've got, to, I've got to thank you for your honesty. I know, and your time, you're at your mum and dad's, I know, there was probably a roast sitting on the table. Mate, appreciate it once again coming on the show and knowing that you guys are trying to contribute to the spectacle and game we're playing. Look forward to catching up soon. Thanks, Bryce.